Zekori and welcome to another video today we're going to be uh, taking a look at the M200 or M217 uh, Chaytech whichever name you want to call it by now this is a very iconic sniper um, I believe it's uh, it has a reputation from Modern Warfare 2 I think it is I haven't personally played that game that's why I say it I, I played a very little of it when I uh, sometimes went to my friend's house but I never played it on my own I wasn't much of a gamer epic gamer back then if you want to call it that um, so I know a lot of people know this weapon and it's sort of famous uh, but also in Warface it's one of the first uh, bolt, action bolt action snipers that you can get for free and that is actually usable and you can actually like do very well with it uh, of course the Everest is there too but it's just super slow compared to this and you can't really compete with uh, better guns using that weapon but this gun, it's um, as you'll see later in, in while I talk about it, you'll see that this gun is much, much better. Uh, it also has a personal history for me because um, my first clan leader used to use this gun as his main weapon. It was his favorite weapon as well. And he's the person who got me into the whole clan aspect of Warface. And it's probably the reason why I'm still here. Uh, but also there was Kickstar. He used to main it as a sniper, I believe, as well. And um, he... he was a good a friend of mine and he started the whole he made clans more competitive i feel like he after he made elysium people started becoming more competitive i feel like in in the game in general but anyways um let's uh just jump into the review of the gun this wasn't supposed to be a review but i guess that's how it's turning out to be so we're gonna start off with the visuals of the gun um i do have the i believe it's called black dragon skin on it right now but uh, even without this skin, with the default skin, it looks pretty nice, and it looks nice in the kill feed, uh, the animations are pretty solid as well, <coughs> and the only thing that might be a bit off, I would say, is the running animation, which, for some reason, every time there's an update, they make like five different changes to the M217, and the one that lasted until today is the running animation one, uh, but it's not nothing too weird, and you get to, well, at least I've gotten used to it, so... Um, it's nothing really to complain about. Uh, now, as of the gameplay and the stats, obviously it's a vendor sniper, so you shouldn't be expecting anything too crazy. But, surprisingly, it does a really, really good job. Like, <clears throat> if you're good at sniping, you have a bit of experience and your aim is on point, I don't think you're going to really struggle against people who are using credit random box weapons. Um, so it's definitely a really viable option if you're a new player to um, use when sniping. Of course, the B5000 and the S60B, the shop weapons, um, they're better than this because um, they have a higher RPM and uh, better features like the hit multipliers. But um, as far as this gun goes, like I haven't had any, I haven't had much difficulty with knockdowns. I think it has 350 damage, and I'm not sure about the multipliers, but it does a pretty solid job at getting you a, a few kills back to back, um, and. It has a good number of bullets in it uh, at 7. So what I'm getting at is that it's a pretty viable option, but it shouldn't be like your final choice of a weapon. Uh, definitely not. And uh, so if, if you're a new player and you're looking for a free gun, free bolt action sniper to use, this is definitely an option. But um, if you want something long term, uh, uh, like the B5000 or the S6CB, like I said before, they would be better alternatives to go for. And even for uh, for older players, uh, like for example myself, I go back to this weapon uh, a lot uh, once in a while to have a fun change of pace and challenge myself in a way because the RPM is slower, the stats are lower, of course. So if you want to, if you snipe a lot and you have better weapons, it could be a, f a fun change of pace to sometimes switch to this weapon and see how you would be able to perform with it. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it about the weapon. I don't know what else to say. This wasn't supposed to be a review. <laughs> I was just trying to show off the skin with a gameplay, but it sort of turned out that way. But whatever else you want to see with this weapon, uh, let me know if there's any other type of video you want to see with it. Um, and uh, yeah, now I also want to give a little bit of a feedback on uh, my last video. So a lot of you guys um, replied to the idea of me uploading Apex videos. And I said that I might be able to do that. And unsurprisingly, I've been playing a lot of Apex with my friends in the past few days. 
Uh, I'm not quite trial level yet, but I'm I'm a little bit above him. <laughs> so what that means is that uh, I'm not sure when I'll be able to upload gameplays of it, like full wins and such. But I'll definitely be able to, I feel like, upload funny moment videos of it at least. Uh, but I just don't know when I'll have enough clips um, to be able to do that either. But I definitely do feel like the game that I'm most likely uh, going to upload videos on is Apex. Um, so yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, next video is probably going to be on a pistol. I'm not sure which one. Uh, and yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.